Hi, this is Mark Lefebvre, Director of Kobo Writing Life, and I'm sitting here with Dennis Wakeman, also known as Mr. W. That's right, Mr. W, the math book guy. So, the math book guy, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what you've done. Where did the math book start? How did that originate? What happened was, when I retired from teaching, at, uh, you know, regular teaching, I began uh, tutoring. Okay. And I tutored uh, people from various backgrounds, um, private schools, separate schools, public schools. And although there are a lot of good math teachers out there, a lot of these people that were coming to me just didn't have good examples of how to do their work. So I, I took the grade 10 course and I, I, I wrote a book and uh, had about 200 copies printed up. I was uh, tutoring someone whose dad was the CEO of a, of a, a school uniform company. Okay. And he said, well, why don't we put the, we'll put the books in the, in the uh, retail store? And uh, within a month or so, the books had sold out, and I was getting emails from students saying, hey, uh, will you write them for more grades? Okay. So that's what I did. I spent the next two years writing them from grade 8 to grade 12. Okay, and so now uh, what you've done is because you know that the demand is much higher than uh, the ability for somebody to come into a particular location to pick it up. You've now uh, produced the books, they're available on Kobo. That's so right. people can download, they don't That's even right. have to have a device, they can have the free app on right. their smartphone. Right. Uh, and they can pick up the books uh, in 190 countries now, not just in the local yeah. shop. In, in which, is, which is kind of cool. <laughs> okay. So I guess that, what, what, what are the subjects that you cover in terms, because you, you seem to do the gamut of, of high school math in general. Right, well what I did, because I taught in Ontario, I took the Ontario academic level and I, I wrote a set of tests for each grade level. Okay. So there's probably 10 or 12 tests in each book. And following each test I have uh, solutions, not just answers, but step-by-step -step solutions. Okay. And there's also an exam. And the same thing, step-by-step -step solutions for the exam. So a student can take my test and practice. It's like, okay, I'm writing the test, I can, they can check with my solutions, make sure they're doing everything okay. And it takes some of the pressure off when they have to actually do the test in, in class. It takes the pressure off the parents too because, as you know, uh, okay. if, if your son or daughter is, uh, is stressing over something, it, it causes stress for everybody. <laughs> and, and something that I think you've probably experienced as both a teacher and a tutor is that people have different styles of learning. Some yes. people learn in different yes. ways. You have a YouTube channel. Tell, do. tell us a little bit about that. Well, about five or six years ago, I, uh, I bought a small camera and I, I mounted it behind me, just over my shoulder. I, I didn't want to be front and center of these. And I, I wrote a few lessons and, and got a YouTube channel. Um, and for the first couple of weeks, I'd get maybe 20 views or 30 views, but then it, it, it started to grow. I was getting like 20 or 30 a day, and I, I, kept, I kept making uh, more videos. I think I've got about 52 up there. I know there are some people that have you know, huge, huge channels out there, and they promote it and so on, but with, with no promotion whatsoever, I've, I've had almost 100,000 views, so, uh, and in, from 150 countries. Wow. So I must be doing something, <laughs> something right. Uh, I, I originally thought, okay, I'll help local people with, with these videos, right. and I became very, uh, well, I, I, was, I was so surprised when I saw you know, people in, uh, in Taiwan and the Philippines <laughs> and South Africa looking at these videos, and I thought, well, math is pretty universal, even though I'm, I'm talking about Ontario curriculum, everybody has to factor trinomials or work with parabolas and so on, so it's, it's pretty universal. Okay, well, you, you talk about math being universal. I, one thing that seems to be universal, and, I, and, I, and I'm guilty of this you know, when I was in high school, is I was afraid of math, and I always found it difficult to approach it, and I always uh, was wondering why we had to learn it. And when people approach math in that way, what's the advice that you usually give to them? How do you help them see the benefits of, of, of this understanding? Well, I had an interesting situation two years ago. A mom called me because her son wasn't doing well in math. And about a half an hour before I was supposed to go over, she said, he won't see you. Sitting on the couch, he's not going to see you. So I said, I'm coming in. Anyway. <laughs> so I came in, he was sitting there, and uh, there was a basketball net at the front. So I started talking to him about basketball. And uh, 
And so we talking, started talking about sports a little bit, and, and uh, I talked about uh, one of the Blue Jays pitchers who uh, had some time off because of an injury, and he had completed his, uh, his degree, Marcus Stroman. And I said, these guys realize, and I know you want to be a basketball player, but that's only going to last so long, and then what are you going to have? So somehow you've got to get yourself an education and, uh, and, and have something after that, that, that career. So he sat down with me and we looked at a few things, and if I can get them laughing or, 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 or use a sports analogy, for example, with integers. Okay. Um, in Canadian football, we got three downs. So you make four yards on the first down, you lose six, and then you lose two. Where are you? Well, he can tell me where he is behind the line of scrimmage. And I said, well, that's integers. You know, you're just, you're just moving up and down. It's like a thermometer, but we have a number line, but, but it's like a thermometer on, on its side, you know, and you're moving this way or this way on the line. And he thought, okay, well, that's, that's, that's pretty simple. I mean, the language they use sometimes teaching mathematics intimidates people. Okay. And you gotta, you got to make it simple. You, you just try to relate it to things they can understand. And, and so your, uh, your books uh, have examples that aren't just um, easy to comprehend examples, but they're actually in your handwriting too, which I think yes, gives it a yes. more personable nature. I've had a lot of comments about that. I've, some people have, have emailed me saying, hey, I can, I can do these in, in print for you if you'd like, but I've had so many uh, emails from parents saying, you know, I really feel comfortable looking at what you've got there. It's like you're sitting with the teacher yeah. when you're when you're reading this. And I can draw arrows and make little notes and, and so on. And it doesn't have that intimidating aspect that, uh, that our text does. Oh, of course, because I mean, one of the things I think, um, you lose the intimacy that you get when you're tutoring one-on-one, -on -one, but a bit of that intimacy comes back because your character is yeah. reflected in yeah. the, and in it's the character. It's my writing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's you. It, it's, it yeah. is very personable, but you're reaching you know, tens of thousands of people around the world right. rather than just the right. local community. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to, I, I, I couldn't tutor the wall, so this way I can, I can somehow extend <laughs> my work too. So you're getting feedback from parents, you're getting feedback from students, and even people who may not be in school but are just trying to learn math, is that? Yes, yes, I've had a few people that have bought the books and said, hey, this is kind of fun. I, I really hated this stuff when I was in high school, but I, I'm kind of looking at it again with a fresh, <laughs> with a fresh view. Where does your passion for math come from? Well, the passion comes from working with people. It, it didn't have to be math. Okay. Uh, I knew very early in life that I wanted to make a difference somehow. And I could do math. I wasn't brilliant. And I think this is part of my success. I was not brilliant in math. I had to work hard. So I understand. I, I know what people are going through. But I, I basically wanted to, um, I wanted to teach. I could do math. I love English, but I, I knew I could, could teach English. Music is my main passion, but I didn't want to teach music. I didn't, right. I, I didn't want to have to go in every day and have 30 people in front of me, many who didn't, didn't really want to be there. So th this was the best of both worlds for me. I could teach math all day, and then when the bell rang and the kids were gone, I could sneak down to the music room and I could uh, have a stage band or work on a musical or just do, <laughs> do that aspect of my life. The, the part of my life that really, really excites me. But it was all with the confines of a high school. Okay. Cool. And so, how long has it been since you've actually retired from teaching high school? I retired in 1998. 1998. And then, is that when the Mr. W's High School Mathematics Guides came out? Well, I, I started tutoring then. It wasn't until about uh, 2007 I started doing the, the videos, and a few years later the, the books, and then a former student approached me and said, hey, you should be in the digital age, and I knew absolutely nothing about <laughs> putting these things on, on Kobo and so on. And so fortunately, uh, he and his, and his son were, uh, were instrumental in, in 
putting them on Kobo and getting them up there. It, it, it looks great. So it almost seems like a karmic evaluation that you help students out and they've come back to help That's you. That's kind of cool. Which helps That's other good. people in the long run. Yeah, sure. Well, sure. on behalf of people who struggle with math everywhere, I want to thank you so much for what you do to make math easier. What's, uh, if somebody was um, interested in learning more, uh, what's, what's a great place where they can go to find out more about you and what you do? Well, they can go to my Kobo book site. Okay. Uh, that's a, uh, that would be the main way to, to, okay. to find me. And then the YouTube channel as well, the which YouTube is channel, it. which is my math study guides. Oh, excellent. Well, thank yes. you so much for coming in today to chat with us. Okay, thank you very much, Mark.